The International Sibling Society is more than just a podcast. It's a movement. A movement where your voice, your actions, and your commitment to sustainable development goals can truly make a difference. Whether it's by subscribing to our YouTube channel, sharing your stories on our website, or considering a career in diplomacy, every step you take is a stride towards a more sustainable, peaceful, and prosperous world. Change starts with us. It starts with the choices we make, the conversations we have, and the actions we take. So let's continue to educate ourselves, inspire each other, and work collectively towards the goals that unite us. My name is Cindy Burleson, and I'm chairman of the International Sibling Society, where I have the privilege here today to welcome you to SDGs Explained, the podcast where we explore the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and how people in over 190 countries are working together to make life better on the planet for all life, both above and below the water. The 17 Sustainable Development Goals are a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure peace and prosperity for all, addressing key challenges such as poverty, hunger, health, education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, life below water, life on land, peace and justice, and strong institutions. In this series, you will learn much more about the Global Sustainable Development Goals, but if you're curious and you want to know more now, check out the SDGs Explained trailer and bonus features found in the same place where you found our podcast here today. You can also find the International Sibling Society and the SDGs Explained series on YouTube. We urge you to take the time to look us up on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Indeed, we need your support to get our message out through the algorithms so everyone, everywhere, around the planet can hear it and share with us all how they are working to achieve the sustainable development goals in their part of the world. It only takes one click. Click the subscribe button and let's get YouTube on our side. Speaking of YouTube, if you visited our website, issnow.earth, lately, you'll see that the International Sibling Society is in the middle of a huge YouTube subscriber drive. Today, we invite you to become an integral part of our movement by subscribing to our channel and embracing the power of shared experiences. We encourage you to navigate to us and be part of our global family. Visit issnow.earth where you can tell us who you are and what you're doing in your part of the world to move us closer to the Sustainable Development Goals. Be a guest on our show. We're here to support you. Speaking of support, the International Sibling Society wants to be the first to encourage you to assume your own role in the world of diplomacy. We encourage you to pursue a career in foreign service in your own home country. Research the requirements, and you'll soon be on your way to an exciting, rewarding career where you can truly make a difference for all of us living on the planet. Most countries uh, require some form of testing to enter foreign service. In my country, the United States, all aspiring foreign service officers are required to take a foreign officer written test that's written. It's called the FSOT for short. After taking the written FSOT, the next step for Americans is the qualification evaluation panel. And in the qualifications evaluation panel review, they're going to look at the total candidate to rank order all the candidates in a given career track. And the number of candidates invited to the next stage, which is the oral assessment, depends largely on the U.S. State Department's anticipated hiring needs and budget. So what's the process in your country to enter the Foreign Service? Write down in the comments below. Whatever the requirements are in your country to help 
you prepare for the road ahead, the International Sibling Society has prepared a comprehensive study guide to help you ace the essay portion of any exam you're required to take. The name of the study guide is simple. It is launch your foreign service career and ace the foreign service officer test. You can find launch your foreign service career and ace the foreign service officer test anywhere you buy books. But we do understand that books are much heavier to carry than they used to be and that you would likely prefer a lighter, more portable digital or audio version. We'll look no farther. Audiobooks and ebooks are available too. Just search for them by name on your favorite platform. The International Sibling Society Global Test Prep Series Launch Your Foreign Service Career and Ace the Foreign Service Officer Test. Inside this guide, you will find 20 sample essays covering a wide range of writing prompts that could be included on any Foreign Service Officer Test, regardless of the country or testing format. We have carefully curated these essays to provide you with a diverse set of topics, ensuring that you are well prepared for any challenge that comes your way. From these essays, you'll learn how to effectively structure and develop your response to impress evaluators. Whether you're facing a written or oral exam, our study guide will equip you with the necessary skills to tackle any essay prompt with confidence. You will learn how to analyze questions, generate compelling arguments, and communicate your ideas with clarity and precision. At the International Sibling Society, we understand the importance of, act of acing the Foreign Service Officer Test. Aspiring Foreign Service Officers need to demonstrate their ability to think critically, analyze complex issues, and communicate effectively. Our study guide is designed to help you master these skills, ensuring that you stand out from the competition. Don't leave your success on the Foreign Service Officer Test to chance. With our study guide, you can confident, confidently <laughs> approach any essay prompt that comes your way. Get ready to showcase your knowledge, skills, and passion for diplomacy with our comprehen comprehensive collection of sample essays. Start your journey towards becoming a Foreign Service Officer today. Order your copy of our study guide and unlock your full potential on the Foreign Service Officer Test. Your dream career is within reach and let us help you make it a reality. So I ask you, are you ready to take your Foreign Service Officer Test preparation to the next level? Then let's get started. In today's podcast, we're going to analyze the impact of globalization on foreign policy decision making. Well, let's get started by examining the impact of globalization on foreign policy decision making through the lens of Sustainable Development Goal number 17, which is Partnership for the Goals. Partnership for the Goals emphasizes the role of global partnerships and international cooperation in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Globalization affects foreign policy decisions that can foster or hinder such collaborations. The impact of globalization on the stability of nations and the formulation of foreign policies to maintain peace and justice is also covered under Sustainable Development Goal number 16, which deals with peace, justice, and strong institutions. Decisions made by states can affect global governance and the rule of law. But moving on now to Sustainable Development Goal number 10, which addresses reduced inequalities. Reduced inequalities is impacted by foreign policy decisions influenced by globalization that address issues like international aid, fair trade, migration, and distribution of resources, all of which are pertinent to reducing inequalities between and within countries. In reference to Sustainable Development Goal number eight, decent work and economic growth. Globalization impacts economic policies and agreements that countries negotiate affecting labor markets, trade, and economic growth, 
which are central to this goal. Also impacted by globalization is Sustainable Development Goal number 13, Climate Action. As foreign policies related to globalization increasingly consider environmental concerns and the need for international cooperation to combat climate change and its impacts. Globalization shapes the context within which foreign policy is made, with implications for international law, human rights, economic development, security, and environmental policies. Each of these areas relates to multiple sustainable development goals, demonstrating the interconnectedness of globalization with the broader agenda of sustainable development. Well, knowing this, how would we respond on a written test or an oral exam, or better yet, in the real world of international diplomacy, if we were asked to analyze the impact of globalization on foreign policy and decision making? Well, that response could look or sound like this. Title. Globalization's Influence on Foreign Policy Decision-Making Globalization, the multifaceted process of increased interconnectedness among nations in economic, political, social, and cultural domains, has significantly reshaped the landscape of international relations. This essay aims to analyze the impact of globalization on foreign policy decision-making. It will explore how globalization has both broadened the range of considerations in foreign policy and amplified the complexity of decision-making processes for states in the 21st century. Globalization and Economic Independence One of the most profound impacts of globalization on foreign policy is the heightened economic interdependence among nations. The globalizations of markets and the liberalization of trade have made the, ec the economies of countries more intertwined than ever before. As a result, foreign policy decisions are increasingly influenced by economic considerations. States must weigh the potential economic benefits and risk associated with their foreign policy choices. Trade agreements investment decisions, and currency policies now play a pivotal role in shaping foreign policy priorities. Transnational Challenges and Multilateral Diplomacy Globalization has given rise to a host of transnational challenges, including climate change, terrorism, infectious disease, and cyber threats. These challenges require coordinated responses that transcend national borders. Foreign policy decision-making has evolved to prioritize multilateral diplomacy and international cooperation. States recognize that addressing global challenges effectively often necessitates collective action. As a result, institutions like the United Nations, the World Trade Organizations, or organization and regional organizations have gained prominence in shaping foreign policy decisions. Information and Communication Revolution The digital revolution and the widespread availability of information has transformed the way foreign policy decisions are made. In today's interconnected world, information flows freely and public opinion can be influenced rapidly. Governments must consider the impact of digital media and public sentiment when formulating foreign policy. Social media, in particular, has empowered citizens to engage directly with foreign policy issues, forcing governments to be more transparent and responsive in their decision-making processes. Global Culture Exchange and Soft Power Globalization has facilitated unprecedented cultural exchange. As people from different parts of the world interact, ideas, values, and cultural elements across borders 
Foreign policy decision makers now recognize the importance of soft power, which includes cultural influence, to achieve national objectives. Cultural diplomacy, educational exchange, and media engagement have become integral roles in shaping a country's image and promoting its value on the global stage. Globalization's Challenges to Sovereignty While globalization has extended the scope of foreign policy considerations, it's also presented challenges to state sovereignty. As international institutions and economic forces exert influence on states, traditional notions of sovereignty have been tested. Foreign policy decisions often involve balancing national interest with international obligations and constraints. States must navigate the tension between safeguarding their sovereignty and participating in a globalized world. In conclusion, the globalization effect has had a profound impact on foreign policy decision-making in the 21st century. Economic interdependence, transnational challenges, the information revolution, cultural exchange, and challenges to sovereignty have all contributed to the evolving landscape of foreign policy. Decision makers must consider a broader range of factors and stakeholders than ever before. While globalization offers opportunities for cooperation and economic growth, it also presents complexities and dilemmas that require astute and adaptive foreign policy strategies. As the world continues to globalize, the role of foreign policy in navigating this interconnected era will remain a central and involving challenge for nations around the globe. Well, how would you evaluate this response if you were scoring this essay or interviewing a Foreign Service Officer candidate speaking these words? Let us know in the comments section. Visit our website, issnow.earth, or email us directly at diplomaticoffice at issnow.earth. We hope to hear from you soon. As we wrap up today's episode of Sustainable Development Goals Explained, or SDGs Explained, we want to thank you, our listeners, for joining us on this journey through the complexities and inspirations of the Sustainable Development Goals. Your engagement and curiosity are what drive this conversation forward, making it a better future possible for all life on our planet. Remember, the International Sibling Society is more than just a podcast. It's a movement, a movement where your voice, your actions, and your commitment to sustainable development goals can truly make a difference. Whether it's by subscribing to our YouTube channel, sharing your stories on our website, or considering a career in diplomacy, every step you take is a stride towards a more sustainable, peaceful, and prosperous world. As your host, Cindy Burleson, Chairman of the International Sibling Society, I'm here to remind you that change starts with us. It starts with the choices we make, the conversations we have, and the actions we take. So let's continue to educate ourselves, inspire each other, and work collectively towards the goals that unite us. Before we conclude, I'd like to encourage you to explore our comprehensive study guide launch your foreign service career, and ace the foreign service officer test. This resource is not just a tool for exam preparation. It's a gateway to understanding the intricacies of global diplomacy and the significant role it plays in resolving contemporary international conflicts. So as you move forward in your day, think about what you can do to contribute to the sustainable development goals in your own unique way. And when you're ready to take your commitment to the next level, remember, the International Sibling Society and the SDGs Explained podcast are here to guide, support, and empower you. Thank you once again for tuning in. Join us next time as we continue to explore, understand, and contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals. Together. 
let's shape a future that we can all be proud of. Until then, keep striving for a sustainable world, one goal at a time.